Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a tape or in the abdominal cavity, a rare finding. Tape form in the abdominal cavity is very hard to visualize and very hard to focus. In this patient, it was incidentally visualized as I was examining the right iliac fossa. As the patient was complaining pain in the right iliac fossa, so I was going to rule out the appendicitis and the ureter problem, ureteral problem, ureteral stone and incidentally I found a tapeworm in the right iliac fossa which was causing pain in this area. Certain types of imaging such as CT and MRI scan, X-rays or ultrasound of cyst may suggest invasive tapeworm infections. Tapeworm are a flat worm that look like ribbons. Their bodies are made up of segments and each segment is about the size of grain of rice. Adult tapeworm can grow up to the 30 feet, almost as long as the average school bus. Now fortunately infections caused by them are rare, especially in the developing countries. Cystoma is a class of parasitic worms in the flat worm phylum. Most of the species and the best known are those in the subclass Yestoda. They are ribbon-like worms as adult known as tapeworms. Now you can see the tapeworm. And full length of this worm could not be visualized, could not be focused. Now stool examination analysis for the intestinal tape worm infection, infest, infection, your stool may be examined and sent to the laboratory for testing and the antibodies against these tape worm may be detected detected by blood test for tissue invasive infections the blood test may find the antibodies that are produced to fight against these tapeworms and in this stool the eggs larva or adult tapeworm may be suspected. Now in, uh, some of the most common symptoms and sign of these intestinal parasites include digestive problems including unexplained constipation, diarrhea or persistent gas, skin rashes, including unexplained rashes, eczema, hives and itching, muscle and joint pain, fatigue even when you are getting enough sleep. So these symptoms, abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, gas, bloating, fatigue, unexplained weight loss, abdominal pain or tenderness may be found. Once inside the body, the tapeworm head attaches to the inner wall of the intestine and feeds off the food being digested. Now you can see the right kidney and it looks eco normal. There is no hydronephrosis. Pieces of the tape are break off and come out of the body in pieces along with the eggs they contain. If this infected poor gets into the soil or water it can infect other people or animals. Now you can see the unibladder as I was 
going to rule out the stunt the stunt passed inside the unibladder ureter and kidney but you can see there is no stunt seen in the unibladder and neither it was seen in the kidney so it is a tapeworm incidentally found now some people think that uh, tapeworm make you hungry not usually in fact a tapeworm is a tapeworm is more likely to make you lose your appetite now again i was trying to focus the tapeworm not an easy task but you will see the tapeworm was focused again due to the presence of abdominal gases it is a bit difficult to focus now again you can see the tapeworm visible this is the tapeworm the whole length of the tapeworm was could not be visualized now again you can see the tape tape ball seen in the right rectal fossa and causing pain you can find some important description information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel